welcome to simple maths class of standard 7 we discuss here the topic parallel lines lines first let us start with the lines we can draw a line by joining two points point a point b and joining these two points using a scalar pencil we will get a line we have to give names to these points what should be the name let us ask these points itself what should be what should be your name it must be a capital letter and what should be your name it i hate small letters i do want a capital letter as my name okay so let us give names to these points as capital letter a and capital letter b now let us ask this line also what should be what is your name the line replies i want to say something before i say my name i must i, I want to say you that i am not a small line i extend infinitely i extend infinitely to this direction straight and i extend and i extend infinitely to this direction also straight see these arrow marks i am extending to both the directions endlessly i am not a small line you cannot even imagine my length okay but now you can call me line ab you can call me line ab and if you are calling me simply ab no problem it's okay and uh, you can call me as ba also then if these lines are extending endlessly like this so many lines are there so do they intersect do all the lines intersect let us see that do all the lines intersect here ab is a line cd is another line do these lines intersect yes definitely these two lines are intersecting here meeting here another one pq another pair pq and rs do these lines meet at a point extending this straight this line would intersect at some point here and this 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 pair of lines is also intersecting lines intersecting lines the next pair is ef and gh do they meet at a point we can extend here we can imagine to extend here and extend this line also they will meet at a point so these two lines are also these two lines are also intersecting lines another example is ij and kl it's very beautiful to see these two lines isn't it this pair of lines is just like the edges of a scale do these lines intersect if we extend here straight here also straight 
straight. If you extend here also straight, they would never meet. They will never intersect. What is the reason? These two lines have the same distance between them. Same distance. Everywhere. These two lines have the same distance everywhere. So, they do not meet anywhere. So, what is the distance between this pair of lines? Here, this distance is decreasing. And finally, here, these two lines meet. The distance between these two lines is not the same everywhere. So, these two lines are intersecting, intersecting lines. So, what can you say about this? That is, these two lines are extending infinitely and they have the same distance everywhere. Such lines are called parallel lines. Lines which are at the same distance everywhere and do not meet anywhere are called parallel. Let us draw some parallel lines. We can easily draw such parallel lines just using a scale and pencil. Using the edges of the scale. We can see the parallel lines around you. What is it? A straight a railway track. The lines, these rails do not meet anywhere. And the yellow marks of a road, a sports track, the panes of a window, and the opposite edges of a notebook. Here, this edge and this edge. These two edges are parallel. And this edge and this edge. These two edges are parallel. And the easiest example you can see here is a scale. The two edges of a scale. These two edges are parallel. Find out the parallel lines in a rectangle. This is a rectangle. We can give the name to the vertices S, P, Q, R, S. Now which are red? Can you find, can you see parallel lines, pairs of parallel lines in this rectangle? SR and PQ. What about this SR and PQ? They do not meet anywhere and they have the same distance everywhere. So, PQ is parallel to SR. We can uh, learn one more thing here. We can use the symbol, the symbol, the symbol parallel to to express parallel to and we can write as PQ is parallel to SR that is this PQ is parallel to SR can be written as PQ is parallel to SR and the other pair of parallel lines PS this pair of parallel lines PS under RQ. We can say in either as PS or as SP. We can use RQ or QR for this line. So, we can say that PS is parallel to QR. PS is parallel to QR. Now, we have to find out the parallel lines in this figure. This is a quadrilateral, four-sided, closed figure. And we can give the name as GHIJ. 
and there is a special name to this quadrilateral what is it you can learn it now it is new to you trapezium this is a trapezium you can so uh, we can find out the parallel lines in a trapezium which are it here gh and ji these two lines are parallel only one pair of parallel lines is there the other gh is parallel to ji the other two lines gj and hi gj and hi are not parallel there these two lines will meet at a point so, and consider this quadrilateral abcd is there any pair of parallel lines in this quadrilateral c no there are no parallel lines in this quadrilateral one more thing find out the capital letters having parallel lines and mark them you can first write down the capital letters neatly and you have to you have to pick out the letters having parallel lines and you have to mark the parallel lines in them example do you want an example for example e e the parallel lines present are these three lines okay thank you the rest in the next class